babies we are back at you him podcast it's malik what's up i have my team with me as always what's up aaron talk to me nice yo 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 what's up with it (laughs) and trey what's up (sighs) (laughs) um i'm well i gotta you know what let me let me change that because i was told um i'm a bitch on the show so i gotta be like this Hey y'all! How y'all doing? We love it. <laughs> okay. I gotta make sure you know I gotta change it up. That's fine. And Stevie, what's up, baby? Hi y'all. What's up? What's going on? I'm hey. keeping real short. You okay. know me. <laughs> Hi y'all. What's up? What's going on? Real cute. Uh-huh. And uh we have a special guest, bitches. Wait, 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 wait. Drum roll. Okay. <laughs> I ain't need got y'all. No drum roll. He ain't got no <laughs> drum roll. Got the bird call. Roll. I, okay. yeah. roll your, your t- I don't your know ball. how to do a drum roll. I need y'all bitches to stand up for one of my Ow. favorite bitches. Fonz is up in the building. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you Come for having on. me. I'm very happy to be here. Oh. What's up? What's up? How are you? Everything is good. Everything is good. Blessed Sunday. Blessed B. Bless okay. <laughs> yeah. So I I feel like Fonz, we've been well, we've been knowing each other for a while. Yeah. Um, I've been wanting to meet you. <laughs> um, just but you know, you know how living in New York yes. is. But we yeah. finally have a chance to collaborate and yes. to have you on the show. And I'm so like thankful for you to be on the show. Thank you for having me again. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna stop saying thank you. No, it, stuff no. like this is so cool to me. So oh, no, no. Um I think that you've been uh supporting us since day one, since yeah. we stepped out the box. Mm -hmm. Um, and when we were thinking about like having our first guest, um, your name was at the top of the list. (laughs) So thank you. Um, what do you have going on? Like, who are you? What do you do? (laughs) Come on. Um, I am, I guess more popularly known as a a writer. Um, I write for Blavity. I write for Huffington Post. I also write for myself. I'm working on launching a global brand that I'll probably get into once that starts. Um, But that in and of itself will entail a lot of editorial um, and then branch out into a lot of other endeavors. But we'll get to that once that actually launches. And outside of that, I work on the comms team for GLAAD. So I (laughs) get to do a lot of really cool things um, to help out our community. So, well, so amen. Yeah. That's, <laughs> bitch, when a girls pump up their resume, <laughs> hey, <baby>. motherfucking <laughs> resume, put yourself bitch. out there, baby. Put yourself out there. Okay, and I I'm also trying. just want to say that we had got red wine for Fonz because, like, we host. Mm-hmm. We're the girls that know and how to really host. <laughs> Bad thing. We have learned from Countess Luann. Okay, <laughs> we get a fucking host. drink, baby. It's on. You bring. You make sure you have a cup, and mm-hmm. you make sure you have. Nice beverages for your guests. Yeah, right. I fucking love it. See. So, what have the girls been up to this summer? What have they been doing? You know, I always got to check in. I've been in school, so my head has been in the books. Uh-huh. Um, I didn't do as well as I wanted to do last semester, so I'm like literally playing catch up. Um, but I'm happy because, like, you know, I'm doing the thing, and um, I've been just, you know, podcasting, spending time with my man um and that's about it bitch like (laughs) hey light skin (laughs) with my hair wrapped up Uh she got a wrap in she Um, ready (laughs) what's up y'all i uh i've been in school too um my head has not really been in the books um i'm gonna be honest no i um i i didn't do that great last semester either it's my first semester of college ever i made it out i passed um no f's no d's no c's but um i was not um, pleased with what I did. So this um, this summer and then this fall will be my do overs, and then from then on we're gonna do it better. Right, but right. um, I'm really I'm I'm a really big procrastinator, so I'm just trying to you know lock that down and make sure that doesn't happen anymore. And uh, just staring at the men in my class because as, <laughs> as you should, you know, one of them actually, you know what? No, because one of them <laughs> I found out um, 
a few days ago is uh, not only musty because I got <laughs> <cold cream>. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. But I hate her too. I can't. Uh-oh. He's musty, and I found out the reason why he's musty is because he has a preference for white women. <gasps> so, <laughs> um, yeah. Wow. So he's eliminated from the pool of eye candy, but the other two are still fine and hygienic. So, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. So do you know their preference of, of women yet? Um, they women? are or one women. of them is, is married to a black woman, and he's black. And then the other one, um, he's Puerto Rican, and I think his baby mama is um, either Get Puerto that. Rican or Dominican. Okay. That was the moment. Y'all either way, they drink. don't prefer yeah. white women over up. any other type of woman. And I've noticed that cishet men who prefer white women over any other type of woman tend to be musty. And I'm just, just <laughs> and this you is not a no scientific man, right? study, you know what I'm <laughs> oh saying? But God. like, I've met a lot of them. I've been, I was in the military and... You know, them them okay. MFs they smell like hot garbage juice. Oh, okay. So, so hold, on, hold on, hold on. I need I need him to tell me the real tea. So last week I got a message from Aaron. Can I say what it what it said? I don't remember what you what I said, oh, but sure, shit. bitch. Can I say what the fuck you sent me? Yeah, sure, I don't know what I said, girl. But okay. I, and I, I live Baby. for when the girls text me shit like this. He was like, oh, no, no, I can't. No, I can't. No. OK, but oh, bitch, you my bitch for that. <laughs> girl. I said, oh, this is the kind of girls I That's love to I hang out with. I'm going to have to hear about this behind the scenes. Good Sad way. Yeah. Off. Sad bar. Right. Me. Let's uh-uh. put a pin about this there later. We'll talk about other that. members of him that have no idea Baby. what you're talking and Listen, about. if Malik is keen over it, bitch, I know it was a key. I don't even need <laughs> to know what it was about. I remember in the nick of time. Please do not put that on airway. Right before his father said no, you guys, please actually put that's, it on the airway. No, we, we're, we're, <laughs> I want to know. That's why I asked Behind before. Straight with the mess. That's why I uh-huh. asked before. But Stevie, what have you been up to? You know, um, well, I haven't been in school. I ain't <laughs> thinking about school, girl. It's no shade. Damn. Y'all know I'm not that girl. I don't do the school <laughs> thing. Um, we can fight. Yeah, no, listen. It's, if it's for you, it's for you. But it ain't for a bitch like me. Okay. Um, I'm, you know, baby proof in the house because my sister's oh, having a baby. Yeah, um, we love children. I don't want any children. So let's not even. <laughs> uh, let's get started right there. It's no shade. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I've been baby proof in the house, thinking about becoming an uncle, all of that foo foo la. Um, okay. And that's pretty much it. And also getting back into my music. I've been listening to a lot of old music, all bitch. Right meditating in my fucking room and getting myself together for the summer um i have a quick question um you said thinking about becoming an uncle <laughs> okay i'm i said think i felt like there was like no choice okay. <laughs> oh, there <laughs> is no <laughs> choice you're right my bad it was more of like <laughs> i'm sure he meant like thinking about the no, fact i understood that what you meant i just wanted to say that's that. so cute and, like, okay look it's been so i've been you know me and stevie have actually been Hanging, hanging out, out a, a lot Ooh. and the key the calls of his mother calling him and going in i love your mother girl she's a fucking kid <laughs> a key so it's just um and also like my sister is due um right around the time that stevie's sister's due so yeah, um, big things yeah i'll be an uncle as well but um trey hey yeah my aunt was due the same time but that bitch came early <laughs> hello early okay bitch. she said i ain't got time look <laughs> that baby was gonna kill her she said it's either gonna be me or you bitch and you know they're gonna take the baby. Um, <laughs> but no. Um, I've been I'm home in Philly. So I mean, I'm having a little respite from New York and all you crazy people. Um, and I'm just enjoying it. I'm I live in the suburbs now. So my parents moved to the suburbs and it's like trees and wilderness and like deer and like Fresh groundhog. Right. <laughs> right. right? None of that. Um but it's like keep all that. But also if you do like two steps like you're back in philly so it's not like that much of a suburb but um i'm just really enjoying it i mean i'm back at work i had a little girl get really mad at me the other day oh lord Um, jesus i really didn't care (laughs) i told i told some kids i was gonna call the authorities on them like it's been a great oh girl two weeks but yeah that's it and before we forget, happy Pride! Happy yeah, Pride. come yes. on, Pride! Yeah, cheers cheers. How did, how did you not <laughs> we are start gay off my car. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. You know, cheers! We got the red cups yeah. in the building. Come cheers. on, cups up! And yes, yeah. right. I'm cheersing with the okay. water. <laughs> yes. Okay. I okay. love it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. Get into the thick of it. So, um, I like to thank Stevie for causing this mess because this this, oh, this, this, this this question is really messy. Um, so the question today is, 
Have you ever been in love with two people at the same time? Um, Wait, um, question: Is it romantically or is it just love? R- romantic. I mean, what do you even mean by that question? <laughs> you can love. love your best friend. What are you talking about? Oh, no, but like, no. think about the question. That's why I'm asked saying in the someone you're oh my god, you want to you want to do this? <laughs> this Sorry. is romantically, okay. <laughs> and so have you ever been in love Ooh. with two people? Go. Oh, I'm the one that starts it because yeah. I gave the question. Uh-huh. God damn it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. You can be in love with two people at the same time. Have you? Oh, have I? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I, yeah, yeah. I've been in love with two people at the same time, and I've actually been able to take things from both situations to, you know, build what I want as a whole, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Uh, I really don't think people should look at people side eyed for doing that because it's sometimes your feelings become a lot. And when you're in a situation with a certain person, it doesn't matter if you're in love with them, you're in love with them. And some love never die. Let me tell you that. Mm -hmm. I I love a lot of people. I've been the type of person, like if I tell someone that I love them, that love don't never die ever. It's not going anywhere. It's going to stay around full circle. So yeah. Yeah. Hey, fine. Hi. Uh-huh. <laughs> welcome to welcome ooh. to the icebreaker in our okay, show. Like this, no. this is gonna be really good. Oh, ooh, ooh, la, la. Actually, okay. So I actually have never been in love with two people um, mm-hmm. at the same time, and I think that's because I barely have the energy and like the mental bandwidth to be in love with one person. Ooh. Um, I've been in love before. I've been in love once. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think that that was a situation and that was a relationship that. I poured so much of myself into and that was my first experience being in love. So my from my take is being in love requires so much of me okay. giving to one person that I don't know if I'm even able to do to. But okay. I mean, that's just me speaking currently. Speak with that. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, you never know the way never the wind know. may blow, you baby. You I, might I don't be want that. I, I will say I don't want I that. Want it but either. I haven't been in love with two people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey yo i feel like this is about to be good bring it in <laughs> so uh i have um i have only been in love once oh um and it was some shit but so I, i'm not gonna I, I think it's possible um because if you think about how people can have pieces of your heart you know and um <sighs> if you fall in love with somebody and you could you could not even fall in love with somebody and have somebody like have a piece of you um, so it's definitely possible for multiple people to have, you know, to pull at you from like different directions. Um, it's never happened to me. I hope it doesn't. Um, I feel like that would be it's a loud. very, uh, severe type of pain that I yeah. don't want to go through. Yeah. Um, because when I was in love that time, it was, it was awful. Yeah. It was, I mean, it was fantastic, but it was also awful. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah, bring it around. Bring it you around. Know, and so it's like, awful. Yes, uh-huh. you know, like it was a really beautiful, like torture and, I don't really want to feel that for two people. I feel like that would tear me apart. Yeah. <clears throat> so um, I hope it ever happens to me, but I think it is possible, um, especially with, you know, how people's views of relationships and romance is changing. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, people are becoming more open to the idea of being with more than one person in general. So um, these things are going to start happening, at least more in the public light. So, yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> 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 I don't think no. That's no. my answer. Um, okay. No, I've never been in love with two people. Um, I think for me, it's about the connection. Um, so for me, I give more than a hundred percent, like one hundred and fifty, yeah, yeah. okay. to any relationship, and I can't, <laughs> I can't um, give any less. I think there's, there's, it's hard for me to be like. Yeah, I love you. I really love you so much. But I also love you too. Like, And I understand that sometimes people have different forms of love with, with each other. I mm-hmm. mean, you may love a certain aspect of this person, but you also love this aspect from another. Mm-hmm. I feel like I can't truly love you if I can't love all, all of, of you. you. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And for me, if I don't, if I have any type of um uh anything blocking me from loving you it, it's kind of like i don't want it i mean i mean uh, it who wants definitely this? depends on what your conceptualization of love is mm-hmm. um what you believe love is and what your experience is with love have taught you and about you know so 
these things play into how you would view it. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I remember <laughs> just thinking about it. I remember um Chris Brown. No. Oh, oh, girl. Oh. Well, Look, we girl. Right. There's a lot of girl, places I could bring this, we need to but bring it's like, going to actually come to the topic. All right. Okay, let's see um, this no, topic work. I remember, you know, I bring pop culture into everything. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember he put out this little wacky ass video about how he was in love with Karuchi I remember and that. Rihanna at the same, same time. time. Yep. And everyone, I remember everyone was like, Nigga, you ain't love with them both. You just want to have your cake and eat it too. You want to do this, you want to do that. I remember that. Well, and, it's no shade. Well, can I finish, bitch? Okay, Chris, he thank you. His cake and eating it too. It's no shade. But no, for him, it probably was like, oh, I wanted my cake and eat it too. But I, I do think that some people could love two people. I think about yeah. the um baby, the <laughs> polygamists. They have such a deep bond with each other like i sister wives on tlc Jesus. they have or savages deep... that movie i love that movie i, I didn't watch that <laughs> um but no um the sister wives like they are really they love he that man loves four different women but separately yeah and i saw it when i first watched one episode i don't forget what it was but i was like it is kind of beautiful that you're able to Open yourself up to that so, so much love. It's like I kind of was. I wasn't jealous, but I was just like, "Wow, you have four people that love you, but you also love them individually, without any hangups, without whatever they did. You still love them as much as I can love one person." So, I mean, I wouldn't shit on the idea of loving two okay. people at once, but for me personally, it's, no I, it's an it's, it's a, a no go. It's a dub. It's a dub. <laughs> um, I have I been in love with two people at the same time. I'm gonna say yes, but in the sense of I was falling out of love, like it was declining okay. for one person, and my current situation, like the the guy that I was talking to before him, cared about him, loved him, all of this, all of that, but just he wasn't the best person for me, yeah. you know. Um, and I was able to detach myself from the situation off of that, but that that didn't make me love him any less or you know erase the love like so there was a decline in it and when i found someone who was right for me you know i be i began to love him yeah. um but i just has anybody seen or has everybody seen the finale of sense eight i'm happy no, through it i don't i, I haven't I just, okay so, so w- sorry well there's there's a there's a just a small okay. moment that i want to talk about right. how the 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 i'm not sure of her name the name of the character but the girl who uh the middle eastern uh girl who is in love with wolfgang right but she's also married yes to, yes so there's a part in the finale where basically she's like kissing wolf wolfgang or uh and then but she's also like you know in love with her husband it's crazy yeah. but i like from that that's like um that is how i interpret like mm-hmm. being in love at the same time and then just also people do certain things for you yeah. and you have certain duties for a person so when you talk about sister wives i think that sister wives works because everybody knows their place mm-hmm. and purpose within yeah. the relationship and i think that once you you know i don't know how everybody like does there but like I'm learning that relationship is very much of a business, you mm-hmm. know, and you have a responsibility. And like once for me, once I found that responsibility and once I found my part in a relationship, I feel like we can add <laughs> as many people as you want, because yeah. this person does this for me and it's not changing. Right. This person is for me and it's not changing. And right. I think that we talked about um, like having like bringing people into the bedroom and stuff like that and Mm -hmm. that wouldn't be a problem with me either because there's nothing that you can do or say about this person that's going to change like their position in my life there you go yeah i hear that that was it right (laughs) (laughs) oh i'm sorry i was preaching it's cute i promise i'm not gonna be one of those girls that get in a relationship and be like oh girl you need to stop being a hoe like so fucking newly not i'm gonna let my girls live i'll be playing in these fucking streets you know what so i just and I'm not gonna not to get names. off a topic. No, mm-hmm. I'm not too far. But like, I just follow this this couple on Instagram again. I I unfollow them because I couldn't I couldn't. Then take. why'd you follow them again? I follow them again because I really enjoy them. They're they're both so beautiful and they're really in the love. light bulb went off. And you know, I just I love black love, yeah. some black queer love, and I, I I want to see that and like celebrate it with them. You know, whatever they do this thing though, 
Well, they're always, it's always like a, they're always like talking down to people that are like outside yeah. of a relationship. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah, you know, my baby was acting like um, a husband in a world full of hoes. And that's the reason why y'all <laughs> niggas is all still single. How, you know what that And you know what? And I'm just like, is your husband still talking to the This does hoes? not, how, so, so I'm, I don't understand. So after you post that, you're like, yep, they're really going to take that message and, 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 and receive it positively. Mm-mm-mm. All people are going to do is agree with you because either they want to fuck yeah. or, you know, they'll be like, oh, yeah, you know what? You so right, blah, blah, blah. And it's like all you're doing is creating <laughs> this like vicious cycle of just like negativity. And it's like, does that help your relationship? Nope. Do y'all yeah. thrive off of that? Like, <laughs> why would you not just want to like perpetuate positivity? I hate people to get in a relationship to do that. When it comes to love, I think it's very tricky when you are talking about it or um, expressing it on social media because a lot of people use social media as a soapbox. Mm -hmm. And we're all guilty of it. We do it. We like to preach things Uh and we like to, you know, in more ways than one, um, you know, due to the lack of a better word, impose our beliefs on certain things. But I just feel like me personally, I don't want to take advice from anyone who doesn't have my best interest at heart. Mm. So if it's people who like to be preachy because they have an audience, they probably don't have your best interest at heart. Right. And especially when it comes to love, something that I personally take seriously. There we go. Like I would rather feel it and have those around me guide me because sometimes I get misguided rather than like follow like the don't popular follow, thought. Don't follow. You know what I mean? And I feel like that I, I know a lot I might I might not know that specific couple, but there are a lot of people who yeah. do that. Mm-hmm. Playing in these streets, and it's kind of like a, I'm better than you type of thing too so yeah. that's yeah. how you, you really don't really receive the positivity in that message even if there is positivity intended like I'm yeah. just not going to receive it I didn't it. even know it <laughs> yeah. yeah look I didn't mean to start this <laughs> no, no, no. so I didn't mean to do that I just like because you, you said and I yeah. like had a thought because I just followed them like yesterday and as, <laughs> yes. as you followed them did, back I followed yesterday. them back like yesterday and like as soon as so I followed them I went to this. one of their Instagram story yeah. and it was full of that bullshit yeah. and I was like yo like Please just be happy. Well, so you need I can to start taking that sign happy. from God and stop following Here's them, because girl, I uh-uh. think because I really, more I really that, live for them. Like aside from that bullshit, but I think more of that has to do with their relationship. Like I think that saying, like my my man was uh, husband material in a sea full of holes or whatever they were saying. I think it's to help their partner feel like. Oh, he values me. Oh, and oh, it's no. And I think, I, it's I think it gives a. Lie. I think it I gives think, a. Who are you boom. trying to convince? That's fufu lying. Yeah. To me, it's, it's like, are y'all having issues, and you just want the I'm world saying. to think y'all are still good? Because it's no shade. We only going to see what you post. Yeah. So it's not like we know that you're going to have so issues, girl. Like, like your you're letting your insecurity way. shine through in these preachy ass posts, and it's like what you're doing is shining the light on your fucked up relationship. Let me say this. Wow, I just went way deep. I know. Let me say this. I, first of all, I'm not a relationship person. Says the person that's in a relationship. I do believe in love, but I moved to New York City to like experience men in all in all their in all their glory. What they got, same baby, do Um, your thing. And (laughs) I'm one of those type of people. Like I date great guys, handsome guys, um, but it usually like doesn't go past six months, and then I'll get another great guy. You know. Um, but at the beginning, like I was just telling Trey before I got here, like I like told myself that like this is where I want to live for the rest of my life. Um, and I really want to create a family here, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and that's kind of like sen- changed like my dating habits and whatever, whatever. <laughs> and <laughs> literally I was doing my thing, doing my thing ah! until <laughs> Boo Boo showed up <laughs> and he presented me something that I felt was tangible enough to sit my ass down an offer that you couldn't refuse okay Uh and that's just me but my thing is it's like girl i would probably still be running these streets running the fucking (laughs) hey that motherfucking presented what he presented presented, you know mm, so i don't lucky girl i just think that like and uh, again i'm going back to your point and also i can't imagine being in a relationship where uh, every day y'all posting pictures First of all, I don't. I'm. I'm. Ne- First of all, when I'm in relationships, no one even knows that I'm in a relationship because I'm not that girl to post no pictures. Here's it's not thing. up there for the girls. To, no, it's you no shade. Y'all gonna know. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even. Well, of course, for you, that works problem. for you. you know that what? works for you. It's but this girl even, here, baby, I'm not posting no I, pictures. I, it's no shade. I don't, have, having, I don't have an issue with people that like that don't want because it's like there's. I mean, there's merit in not you know sharing your whole whatever. But it's like I'm a social media nigga. That's just how I am. And I'm I post a jillion selfies like of my damn self. Like we, at some point, my boo is gonna find his yeah. way into my shit. Oh like, you yeah, know what I'm saying? boo. Um, I don't think what I think that the thing that I would avoid is that whole like, oh, 
look at me. I'm, you know, I'm, like trying to trying to, trying to emulate Kim I got the and ring, Kanye. Like, you niggas don't right. got no <laughs> ring. Like maybe yeah. you niggas yeah. start acting like you have a ring yeah. already, and then maybe you'll get one. And it's no. like sweet pea, sweet pea. <laughs> Come on, I like, can't with him. You know what I'm saying? Just be, just be cute. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Be like. Post y'all pictures together, y'all. Y'all both look great. The sun's hitting right. You know what I'm saying? The girls is gonna Glistening. live, and you don't uh-huh. have to put that whack ass yeah. caption though. Just See? Shut up and be and cute. Just, or, you know or, right. that's, you're being like elitist, and I'm like, bro, chill out. Yeah. Like, just think you at the top of the charts, bitch, and you really at the bottom. It's no my shame. My thing, I just really like balance. Like my mantra in life has always been balance, and I do definitely agree. I would definitely be the type. I have done it before. Um, if I'm in a relationship, when I'm in a relationship, people are gonna know mm. because I'm proud okay. to be with this person mm-hmm. and I'm more than likely in love with this person and that's something that I would like to share, share. with the world but not mm. in a sense where it's like you bitches don't have what I have because right. <laughs> I don't have what a lot of you bitches have so right. it's you know what I mean I'm not Get gonna like do me. that but mm-hmm. also at the same time the balance comes with you guys know that I'm with somebody but you guys don't know the intricacies of what goes on right there we go I like that's that. that's and I feel like that's where a lot of people go wrong mm, like yeah. social media is not your therapy session and a lot of people want your tea just because they want yeah. your tea and and I'm guilty of it too like if people spill shit on the timeline about the relationship I'm right there reading I'm so I'm right I want to see what's going on I'm, I'm not better than anybody I'm, else I'm but I'm just saying I'm Malik, like I'm, did you see this <laughs> okay I'm logged in but I'm yes. learning from I'm learning from a lot of other people's mistakes and sometimes even my own what what the best practices are for me okay. so yeah all right that was real cute um, <laughs> and whatever yeah we're gonna take a quick break so y'all go smoke y'all blunt have y'all hennessy <laughs> this is what they've been doing or whatever <laughs> use the bathroom <laughs> this is the use take you know sit on the toilet do whatever but we'll, we'll be right back I can't yeah <laughs> Hey babies, it's Aaron and you're listening to him. Make sure to follow us all on Twitter because you know we love having followers and we're just as foolish there as we are here. Malik is Cosmic Cocaine underscore. Me, I'm Life Through Glasses, Life T H R U Glasses. Trey is Trey X Parker. And Stevie is Stevie So Fetch underscore. Check us out. Hey y'all, we are back and bitch, what is you you titty titty shake uh, back? Bitch. <laughs> okay, so we're doing something new, yay! And it's my idea, so if you hate it, just come and send it to me. <laughs> All right. Well, no, girl, um, hold no. on. You setting yourself up already you for the hate mail. The hate mail. Anyway, so I, you know, I don't give a fuck. You know, you know, I only got like five followers on um Twitter. Anyway, I don't care. <laughs> now, if right. you come from my Instagram, now I'm gonna have an issue. Okay. I'm gonna delete your comments. <laughs> I know that's. But right. okay, so here's my question. This is random. Oh shit. I want to know, how do you flirt with men? Oh, God. Woo. Oh baby, I you think, threw you threw a, a bomb in I the motherfucking it's field. Different girl. for every single person. And I am trying, I'm not trying to get back out there, but I think that we all have different ways of flirting. Okay. And I kind of want to know who should go first. Let our let our guests go first. <laughs> oh, why are you um, spicy? You want to go first? It's fine, I'm ready. Uh, yeah. um, so. See, he took the jacket off and he was like. Let me show you how That's I flirt. That's what I wanted. Come on, you know, said Come on in out. signs, right? Mm-hmm. Flirtatious like an Aries. I'm an Aries. <laughs> I'm a fire sign. Oh I'm yeah, very I knew that, baby. Um, Aries is um, in the building. But my, yeah. thi- <laughs> my thing is, mm-hmm. I, and so my intent is not to like s- oversell or oversaturate the conversation or Come the on. environment with sex. Mm. You know what I mean? I just feel like a friendly approach is always really good. But I think... I also know like what what, what my strategies are and what works. And so I smile a lot. I'm very, you know, <laughs> like like, you know, touch out, you know, a little bit. Ooh. But um 
conversation conversation and i also know that sometimes i tend to have like a bedroom voice so like i'll talk to you like this yeah you know like if we're yeah. in this like quiet storm the you quiet know storm. Th- it's very quiet so yeah, i'm very storm. very wbls you know what i mean kiss <laughs> fm so i'll give you that that's how, <laughs> that's here. how i flirt mm-hmm. wow Lord, that's i feel like up. they just like girl <laughs> like middle of the ball, ball. okay wow. bedroom voice bedroom <laughs> no shade hold on Maybe. you might be turning uh, some of our listeners on oh girl <laughs> Oh, keep it this cute. Is explicit. That's all right. We're gonna put if you, you playing in front of your children, <laughs> right. please send them out turn. of the room. Mama, turn it off. Don't, Don't scare the off. white folks now. <laughs> <laughs> if you playing this at Don't work, you may want to turn this off until you get into your car. Okay. <laughs> put your headphones on. Right. <laughs> I live. Girl. Aaron, what's up? What? <laughs> How do you flirt, <laughs> baby? Um, it it depends on the medium. Uh, I thought he was gonna say okay. the man. I was about to say the same thing. Like, girl, you gonna say the so, man? No, I, I actually, um, I have no game. The uh, lies. So you think? But go ahead. I really don't. It's I, always um, them niggas. I'm, no, no, I swear. <laughs> to, so it's is so anything that happens is I'm not gonna say unintentional. Um, but in person, I tend to be. I just go for the friendly approach. Mm-hmm. Um, but if I'm interested in you, I I do a lot of uh, eye contact. Okay. Um. And so mm, yeah, I'm, I mean, and Sometimes. I, I, humor is and really intimacy. like the way I, you know, humor and awkwardness. Because I mean, like I'm awkward in general, and then I use jokes to like kind of make you feel at ease. But then while I'm doing that, I'm giving you a lot of eye contact, and I smile. I know my smile is one of like my the things that I can oh. use. So I use that. <laughs> the dimples. That. Yeah. And so Do that. I know and, I have a good smile, hope, and I just kind of mm-hmm. hope that that works. You know. Um. Most of the time, though. If I'm really interested, if you like mad fine, I avoid you because it's like I, I can't deal. And then like it'll be, it'll be like a, I have to work the, up the courage to, and I walk up and be like, I'm mad direct. Like I'll be like, yo, like I'm, I'm feeling you. Can we talk or let me get your number? Or blah blah. Um, and then online, I'm, I'm just. Yeah, y'all know how I am all I am. <laughs> a fucking yeah. key. A perv. I want to see uh, your face. A perv. Yeah. I'm disgusting. So, um, you know, yeah, it just depends on the medium. I, uh, but. I don't know. I use. I guess I use my awkwardness to my advantage, and that that tends to work. So, um, yeah. So men have always been my thing. It's no shade. Come on. I was use born it. to be gay. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> I love to flirt. It Absolutely. comes very natural. natural. Um, I have very well. People tell me I have big eyes and a nice smile, so you I do. try you to anime eyes. I love it. Thank yes, you. Yes. Um, Wait, what? My girl. I try to. <laughs> I try to use those qualities as much as possible. Um, but also, like, I'm, I've am i never been scared to pull up on a motherfucker. Like, come on. I am a come very on. direct when I want something. Come on. Um, yeah. And usually people think it's me being coy, but in actuality, it's be, me being very, like, direct and driven. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was once told that I give, like, kept woman. <laughs> so, um mm. I do kind of pay the boys a little bit because when you pay the boys, that, 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 that like, rouse them up, you yeah. know? Um, but yeah, like I just give Southern Bell, so it's just always yeah. like, come on, <laughs> Southern Bell. Bell, how you doing? You know, <laughs> what's up? And I'm also a little banji too, so like the boys be living, <laughs> banji girl. That's that, you know. I love to flirt though. I think that some people don't know how to, and mm. I'd actually love to give a class on how to flirt. flirt. Bitch, right. we, that would be dope. No shade. That would be dope. I am actually Shake table, I'm, baby. I'm, fr- I'm, I'm kind of terrible at it, like. If so join the class. So now Aaron is like, <laughs> join yeah, the class. I really want the Send class. that event right later. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I would love Look. to attend. Like I don't. I mean, Charge most the of the time it's just like you know I kind of chill. Yeah. And you know, but I would love to be more engaging, especially if it's around somebody I, I want to. Yeah. I think that. Um. I, I mean, I think that I'm I'm usually in a space with like a lot of gay men, yeah. and they're like it's always something going on. So I've gotten comfortable like mm-hmm. just being out and about. Um, and then um, I don't know, like it's, it's with me. I've never like had that, but I was at the, um, the post baby. Ball, and bitch, when I tell you both Damien and Stevie were getting niggas <laughs> like left and right. And I'm like, bring them in. Hold bring them in like the girl bring them in was the living so mm-hmm. um yeah like the girls you know but also like alcohol is a great <laughs> it's, it's, it's a great thing. not too much wow. alcohol but it will just get enough. you just, right it will have you red learn wine. all your limits look this red wine we drinking baby this right? red wine. This it'll it. have you flowing and you know moving and things so um yeah 
Oh wait, Stevie. My... Oh, um, baby. Uh, Let's see how Stevie. Yeah. Right. Everybody paints a picture of the girl, and they don't really know the girl. But <laughs> um, I'll say this: when it comes to flirting, I am a huge flirt, and sometimes don't even know that I'm doing it. I'm just honestly trying to make like a regular conversation, mm-hmm. and then I get a whole bunch of compliments about, "Oh, you're this and you're that," and I'm just like, "Oh, let me go with it." But I sometimes want to leave that shit alone because it can become overwhelming sometimes not always but sometimes i just certain people i just want to be friends with and then some people just take it as the flirt is too, 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 too much but yeah i'm a flirt i'll keep it real yes <laughs> i'm a flirt yeah yeah oh my god my question was real good <laughs> you did that <laughs> see and you bitches were scared no. well, well baby you told us that we didn't you weren't going to tell us what the question was so of course oh yeah i'm never shook. right look i shook the table not, okay. you should know f- very few things about me but one thing is i love a good surprise yeah. <laughs> surprise <laughs> drops surprise questions surprise anything boom okay but no, that was that was that really was fun. That well, was are fun. you are you gonna answer your uh, own no, question? Oh, oh really? my god, really? that's not fair, bitch. You gotta answer you your own question. Here's you want to all buy juice? I wanted to know all y'all game. That's, that's go. So now I don't gotta <laughs> do it, bitch. Do that. You know what? The girls don't play fair on the that's podcast. That's what I do. <laughs> no, how you, gonna, you know what? What's your flirt? No, hey, what you do, girl? I am. I like to make people laugh. That's Here like my thing. I try and be funny okay. now my my sense of humor is a little dark not i don't oh, want to say boy. dark but it's a little, <laughs> it's a little like clutch. y'all too i swear to god mean the kiki corner the kiki, I, corner. I swear to god. <laughs> kiki corner i love oh, you baby today i love, love you baby. Baby. <laughs> I, I try you do i'm still bitch i'm 20 something like let me be not but you know the thing about it some guys like that when boys try you don't have to give too much and they oh, just no. be down for the Trey, get down you, you're funny <laughs> Don't bitch are you? Don't fuck with my girl. Don't do that. See, what is this? Now that he's not sitting next to me, he he got all of this. My bad. Right? And here's this. He likes to act up in front of company. (laughs) No. Let's be clear here. He acts up in front of company. I love all of the girls and all of the girls are cunts. We don't love you though, bitch. We love everyone. We love everybody. We see each other, bitch. We see each other. I live for you. I see you. I live for you and you live for me. These girls. We always acting up. You're hilarious. Oh my god. Right. What it gives. Oh, oh my god. Now oh, that I, I can look in his eyes. Okay, oh my god. This is so much better. I you like this. You are so hilarious to me. I can't even. <laughs> oh my god. You are the king of comedy. I cry every time. You Y'all are girls. hilarious. I honey. fucking Ooh, live. This so episode is mean girls. Every okay. Day. This episode <laughs> is going to be everything. E bitch. for everything. Woo uh, wee. So, um, I'm really excited to talk about this, bitch. Like, okay. Bring it in. Breathe in. Okay, look. <sighs> Drink your wine. Do something. Okay. So, um, pose. Yeah. Oh, pose. And you kind of have to say it like that, too. Yeah. Yes. Yes. First of all, let me shout out to Damien. Damien is my good friend. Hi, He's Damien in the, in the building. What's He's up? Observing, yeah. <laughs> Giving that tea that you give. Come on, da- Damien. He's really adorable. Like, I Don't. just love the Come on, stature. Damien. Just, he's just very... Everything. <laughs> love you, Damien. And yes. so, also, this... Okay, thank you. <laughs> and But no, like, um, Damien was... At, he came to my apartment and was talking to the lady at the front desk and he's like oh you need to watch Pose <laughs> like, he starts <laughs> telling he her should. like what channel is on and everything so it no, was the key but um, wow like I just I don't even know where to start who Maybe. wants to who wants to start <sighs> I'll start, Actually, I'll I'll start. Yes, we'll start. I, so I just really appreciate good camera angles really good cinematography mm-hmm. really good writing a really good script really good character dynamics character development um a really good plot a really good storyline and everything about pose from start to finish gave me more than what i thought i was going to get and like i was saying before we even started recording mm-hmm. like from the opening scene where they're practicing inside of the you know their their house yes. um to the very end like it was just I, f- I wasn't even, I'm not even from that era. I'm not even from that scene, but I mm. also feel the authenticity coming from it. And it's because Ooh. they have so many people from the ball scene, like Indian. legendary mm. um, Hector Extravaganza. They have Saul Williams. They have all of the ballroom legends, you know what I mean? Who are consultants and writers and, and people who are behind the scenes, like really authenticating and then pushing out this mm-hmm. story to a massive audience. Um the person who stole the show for me was MJ okay. Rodriguez, who I I hate that the name her name escape, uh, escapes me. Electra, 
Is that Electra? No. no. Who Hold on. Angel? MJ. It's, um, Blanca. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. Love her. She, Love her. You, you can just tell that she is going to be a be fucking force to be reckoned yes. with. Uh, and she is going to be that girl, girl from the moment she approached having... Can we do spoilers? Like, can we talk about? I mean, well, everyone should have okay. seen it by now. Okay, right. Wait, everyone should have seen let it me, by let me now. See this. It's no shade, bitch. If you ain't haven't watched it, turn this shit off right, yeah, right, right now. You need to watch and it. Show please. The pilot episode is free on free iTunes. Free on iTunes. iTunes. You can I download it. that. Yes, yeah, I told I these bitches the to do have. it. The girls um, have. Let Let's get it get it together, hoes. She she really just did it for me, and and it was something so um, kind of rewarding and breathtaking to see queer people of color embrace each other. Um, it was a dynamic that I personally don't see too often in my experience in the, the queer community, especially the black queer community. Um, it was just, I don't know, it was just everything. Like, <sighs> yeah. And I'm mm-hmm. going to watch it again once I leave. I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> watch it again. <laughs> it was just good. Was I've, so good. I've watched it uh, about maybe five times. Six. <laughs> um, and uh, first of all, I want to say that I am so proud of Twiggy, my best friend, Twiggy Garcon. Twiggy Poochie Twiggy. Garcon. Yeah. And um, he was a consultant on the show and just like a huge contributor. And he was also in the first episode and he's in, I think, a few episodes. And um, it spoke... What part that really spoke out to me, first of all, my favorite scene was when Angel and... Um, um, Stan. Stan were in the hotel room. room. Oh, baby. That's my love. That was wait, the key. I'm not, gonna, just, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna delve into it part. too. There's right, no, no yeah, shit. Yeah. Okay, that's my hold part. on. You talking I'm a I'm not no, gonna bitch, delve into mine. it too too yeah. much. I didn't dive into my favorite scene, but yeah. But I wanna say that I I thought that Poe spoke poignantly to the queer life and how lonely yes. Yes. being black and queer is yes um if you go if you fast forward uh well first of all she was um her and stan like you know they're together or whatever and he doesn't he loves her sexually he he desires her sexually but he doesn't like want to have her like in Mm -hmm. in real life and i think that that's that's a huge part of the queer narrative especially with me being femme um i think i lay down at night and i'm like Yo, like, you know, our interactions on like social media and, and jacked and grinder, there's people pushing like masculinity and being muscular and things. And I have never fit into that category. Mm-hmm. And um it just I cried the entire Baby. episode yeah. off of that. And then like, you know, when she walked the ball and she got chopped, chopped. Oh it was just God. like she was like, When am I going to have my Prince Charming and when am I going to be um well, accepted? Yeah. You know, and loved. Oh and I God. think that for queer people, we're shunned and rejected by our parents, our family. Yeah. And then we're also like shunned by the queer community when we don't fit certain, um, you know, whatever. And I think that being a trans woman, it's so many things that are um, wrapped up into being accepted as yeah. a, as a yeah. black trans woman. Yeah. And, you know, me being a, a queer man, like I, I, I have privileges, but still like the the loneliness was palpable like yeah. i could literally yes. feel it through the screen yes. and like literally that has been the only thing in my mind and first of all i just think that angel is cunt, cunt. that's my favorite character that's my cunt, favorite character mama. too bitch you just can't steal when my she character walked, yes. but the beginning scene after the With museum that and, that and she did the the little the very I'm, regal me, Disney. royal yes. i fucking love it it also, was- shout out to Dominique Jackson because she's from Tobago. I'm from Trinidad, oh, Sister Islands. So shout out to the queer LGBTQ people from the oh, islands, from the Caribbean. She is doing it. She she shut it down. She was a total bitch on the show, and I, I live for it because yep. I love a bitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love Yo, a bitchy character. On, <laughs> so just she was everything. Yeah, I'm sorry. So yeah, that's that's what I wanted to say for right now. <laughs> um, the. So I was involved in the ballroom scene for a very short amount of time. Mm-hmm. Um, back in 2011, uh, it was my first introduction to the gay scene in general. I hadn't even really been going to gay clubs at all. And um, it was in Virginia. The uh, ballroom scene is pretty um, pretty huge there. And um, I met who is now my gay father, um, LJ, and he's amazing. And um, I just loved how Blanca... <clears throat> created her um created her house and immediately started writing for her kids and i yep. just it reminded me of lj because there are so many things that i could have done or got into that he kept me away from and he's looked out for me for years mm. and i and love i does. love him so much like you know and like that 
I really felt that. And um, shout out to Evan Peters. Um, oh who my plays God. Stan. Come on. Yes. I fucking love him. He's such an amazing actor. Yes, he I've is. watched him through all the um, American Horror, Horror Story. Stories. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, I really, really love him as an actor. And I'm so happy that he's involved with this project. Um, That's white excellence right there. Yeah. Really, yeah. <laughs> I really, I, I really adore him. Like, I love him as an actor. He's one of my favorite, like, actors in general. Um, but... Yeah, and I I absolutely adore Angel. Um, I think that she captured that yeah, like what you said, Malik, that loneliness very Baby. very well. I'm very interested to see her character development. Mm-hmm. Blanca reminded me of LJ in that looking out for you know her kids, and I really love that. So I, I really want to see how that develops, and just the show itself. It just it reminded me of my own life, yeah. and it made me hopeful for the future. I love that the ballroom culture is becoming more mainstream Mm -hmm. um, because it has been, the fact that it's been underground has been, has been kind of its appeal, but I love that it's getting more attention now because it deserves that attention. These are people that are so talented. Mm -hmm. These are people that have shaped lives and changed lives and they deserve to be in the spotlight. And so Mm -hmm. I'm so, so happy that, you know, it's getting that attention and I cannot wait to see the next episode. Yeah. Um, I also wanted to say that um, I once was in a house as well. My ballroom name was Misha Mizrahi. Hello. Um, I was, I actually was a St. Clair, um, which is a very old house before St. Clair, like, um, shut down. Mm -hmm. And then that's when I switched over to Mizrahi. And, um, Voked for a, a decent amount of time um, and, you know, won some balls in Virginia and then just like I stopped. But I thought that um, Pose was, <laughs> it's no shade, shade. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the exact same experience. Mm. And um, wow, I did not expect the level in which um, the project <laughs> affected me yeah mm. um i was not ex- I, I was expecting it to be great but i don't bitch we i don't know what's past great <laughs> baby <laughs> like mm. um and I, I i first of all i want to say again that i told when i spoke to twiggy and i said hey girl you've just off of you being legendary in the ballroom scene mm-hmm. you're already a part of queer history yeah, but so. baby you being a part of the show mm-hmm. you're setting mm-hmm. a, legacy. a legacy come on baby and when i was at the um when i was at justin's um screen dance or uh uh yes for unapologetically unapologetic me, me. yeah um Emil spoke about um, us basically losing our history in the 80s uh, through like, you know, drugs and HIV and AIDS. Mm -hmm. So it is now our responsibility to start leaving our history for the younger generation. Uh, And and when I say younger generation, like queer, like queer. And um, I just like I said, it's girl, it's no shade. You were already a part of history, but you are setting a legacy. And I think that we're we're already old. You know what I'm saying? Like the people in this crowd. So we need to start, you know, yeah. mentoring and leaving and, 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 and dropping some bombs. Thank you for yeah. the I've, girls. I've literally, I've been looking for a child. My <laughs> father and I have been discussing it. And I think um, that it's time for me to start passing on what he's passed on. To yeah. Someone come else. on. Um, That's beautiful. Mm. And it's just, I mean, it's difficult, you know, like you, 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 there are a lot of different things that go into like what, like you, you might want to make sure that they have like certain qualities i don't know like so i've 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 been um i've been kind of looking at it i need to start going out more and mm-hmm. meeting more people but yeah so I, I i think it's time for me to start passing on you know because um i'm so appreciative um and that chosen family you know that they displayed and posed it, it's amazing because it really is real mm-hmm. and i never knew that you could really have people that like i didn't know him like yeah. you know what i'm saying he i i remember asking him to be my father and he was so touched and he said Yes, and like he's really devoted himself to it, and the love that I have for him, the love he has for me, it's like it's it's we might as well be blood tied, you know, yeah. and it's it's amazing. So um, I'm ready to pass that on to somebody. So I've been looking for somebody to, you know. And uh, this is literally my last thing. Like I, Blanca's story resonated with me just because, like, no shade, the girls don't know the tea, but when I was on my other podcast, the girls kicked me out. Mm-hmm. and I felt very much of like Blanca mm-hmm. and me creating him was like me starting my own family Come and on. being yeah. around my Come own on. tribe That's and now I'm with the girls 
with my girls and we have our troubles and our issues Mm -hmm. but y'all always know it's always fucking love regardless of whatever the tea is giving like you know what i'm saying and like at the end of the day you know you need to be around people who have your best interests at heart and who respect you you know and and care for you and that's why i was like i cried the whole episode but that's that's literally like all i'm gonna say but yeah (laughs) um so I do want to give a shout out to the actress's name. Mm-hmm. Yes. Her name is India Moore. India Moore. Come on, yeah. India. Um, who plays Love Angel. you, girl. Um, so that was the character that I connected with the most. Um, I think the scene... What, what? Let me just start off by saying um, I love music. And I think what really brought me in was more the music... And how that story, they, they use music to also tell that story. Um, so go to the, the scene that we've all been talking about with um, Angel and Stan. Um, what I love the most about it was the vulnerability. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. She was vulnerable, but Stan was also vul- vulnerable. Mm-hmm. And I, I took it as just my whole experience with sexuality and just in general, like, you have to be vulnerable. Yeah. Um, and you never know what's going to happen. You never, and you put that, that faith in that other person. Like I'm about to just give you all of me and mm-hmm. you're about to do the same. And I hope that in the end, like this doesn't fuck me up. Um, and it was just such a beautiful scene mm-hmm. that they both were so vulnerable, mm-hmm. but so connected in a, in a weird sense. Um, I just loved just everything. This is my first introduction to the ballroom scene in general. Um, so like everything was like I was wide eyed and bushy tailed. Like I just was looking through everything. Um, and so I, I probably have to digest it more. But that was one scene that I have to say that I just love the vulnerability and how these two characters were able to play off each other mm-hmm. and just be vulnerable and make it so authentic and real and this is the first time some of these queer folk have Have actually ever 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 acted acted, yeah bitch yeah Yeah, turning it out and they've been selling me what the fuck i need Mm -hmm. like i'm so impressed like those girls that we go see blockbuster movies uh uh-huh yeah Yeah. it's time to give those the talent it's no shade girls what they need can we please like oh my god i can't i also want to just give a shout out to the entire post cast in general um Mm -hmm. because we recently had the glad media awards um in new york we have one in la and we have one in new york okay and the entire cast of pose was there wow Um, angelica ross um, India Moore wasn't there. I wish she was. MJ Rodriguez, Haley Sahar, um, I think Angel Bismarck Curiel, who came into the very end <laughs> of the first, the pilot episode. Mm-hmm. He was also there. Oh, uh, and they shut the after party down. As they should. Mm-hmm. They vogued down. down. They Ooh. moved as a tribe. They moved as one. And then they, they kind of brought this presence to the already live after party that was already. unmatched. Come on. Come on. And like I was just screaming yes the entire time. That was mm-hmm. us at the party. I, oh, I really was. So that energy that that people see on screen, it's not fraudulent and no. it's not just acting yeah, yeah. like we really are vibrant we really are illustrious we really are colorful mm. we really are powerful and we carry that with us and it's so awesome how that is kind of birthed through the lack of love and support that, that we get. we you know what i mean like we we don't we a lot of us aren't really accepted in our biological families and we don't get that love That's and support awesome. but for some reason that teaches us how to love and support each other yeah. and that's why i my favorite character is blanca because she was facing so much adversity with you know with uh hiv aids and then you know not being accepted in her own house and then like starting her own house mm. um and then having her own kids like it was just it was just so powerful so yeah yeah um, <laughs> yeah i watched uh pose with my mom as, as the six times I watched it, I watched it with her every single time. And when I tell you she was so invested. But one character we're not really talking about is Damon. Like, oh, yeah, his yeah. story. My bitch. Baby, yeah. <laughs> let me tell you something. I'm so glad that my family, was, my family wasn't as accepting. I think my 
other family, my aunts and stuff. But when it came to him coming out and his father doing all that he did to him, yeah. baby, I am so glad that I did not go through that. Because yeah. that right there, I don't think I would be the person that I am today if I went through what he went through. Because his father was like over yeah. the fucking top. And the mother, too. Yeah. The mother was like with the it father sucks. through it. I'm like, what the fuck? You can't have one parent that's going to support you. You got both parents to get you. Oh, yeah, baby. You hit rock bottom. I'm so glad yeah. I didn't have to go through that. And that, right, that scene, I think, with his father doing that to him took me out i cried the entire time yeah. i cried when he did his audition for to get into the school block yes. and help him out yes. blanca snatched his ass up like no you're gonna you're get going. your ass <laughs> you're gonna get your ass up here and you're gonna dance for the dean right and now she's like who you're are you gonna, she was like I, i'm his mother i'm his mother, <laughs> <laughs> that, that, <laughs> mother part took me out i was like oh yeah damn you better get your ass in there and show yeah. off for mama and for yourself yeah. and then when the um the dean hugged him at the end of him dancing to um i want to dance with somebody by that fucking broke me baby <laughs> I cry. I was like, let me pause this scene real quick. <laughs> let me gather my. I think my, me and my mom actually hugged. I was like, girl, come on in. Okay. This is a moment. You I, know what I'm saying? But it was really, 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 really dope. I enjoyed the whole show. There are two things that I want to say. First of all, I want to say to parents that have queer children, come on. do not admonish them for having porn. Because I actually remember. Well, let me say this. I don't think. Keep in mind that I feel like if it was straight porn, baby, his parents wouldn't have gotten at him like that, they did. Mm -hmm. And I think that a lot of times when you're young and you are like you looking at like porn or whatever, it's more of like you researching and trying to understand who and what you are. So I don't think that that is the best way to handle it, because yeah. I remember specifically in my journey, my parents doing the same thing, uh -huh. you know, and I, again, like I said, I think it would be different if it was straight porn. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't have anything to say. It would have been like, you know, a tap on a, a tap on a uh, wrist. But like now, just because it's, you know, pornography of two gay men, it's which I am attracted to cool. and I desire to have sex with another man mm -hmm. you 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 know admonish me so again i think that that was one thing but i also think that damon like his story about being homeless oh my god homeless really stuck to Baby. me stuck out to me because i've been homeless um mm -hmm. and it's something that i constantly talk about out of the three years that i've lived in new york i have been homeless two of those years yep. and um it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And also being gay in the homeless shelter mm -hmm. is a whole totally different tea that we not getting into. Mm -hmm. But with Damon, those were the two things that like stuck out to me. And um, yeah, it was like, I, again, I cried the entire time. My boyfriend <laughs> was looking at me like, Bitch, you shot me a few texts. I'm like, yeah. girl, I'm like, crying too. Just right. because we've Baby. lived two different experiences, you know, but like, yeah, I, I I'm about to cry now just because oh, I was just like no, it was a lot. I wish I had some shades like y'all okay. right That's now. What I'm saying. <laughs> it was because you never know what it's gonna get. I didn't like, know uh -uh. that it was gonna be that triggering, and mm -hmm. I also want to go back to Blanca finding out that she was HIV positive yeah. and living in a time when there there are not medications the that resources. you can take. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you know, bitch, you taking medicine that's gonna kill you faster Today. than not taking it. Yep. You know, so. It's just like we live in a time now that we have resources and things that actually we complain about but. our situation. But, you know, if uh, going back and looking at the, you know, the 80s and keep in mind, it's, it's scripted. But just like I'm, I'm gagging like, girl, I wouldn't have been able to survive. Never. Mm -mm. So these are some real ass bitches. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And it's just like, I, you know, I could have said it a little <laughs> better. No, but, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like the things that they that they had to go through and the challenges that they had to overcome were just mind boggling. Yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't even be able to Anything. like make it out of my bed. Like no shade. I also want to give a shout out because I know we do we, we, we live tweet around here. You know, oh baby, let's talk about uh, my house. My baby Stevie over here, yeah. Girl. right? <laughs> oh, and if you don't know, and if you're listening to it now, mm -hmm. my house, the first six episodes are available to watch right now on Vice Land for mm -hmm. free. Um, make sure you go and watch the first six episodes. Yep. From Stevie's standpoint, I, I've, I've been hearing that I haven't watched it all yet, baby. But it's, it's, it's my house between my house and Pose, bitch, I want to vote. Woo! It's no shade. I, I feel like I want to learn how to vote. Oh, can, wait, can that be part of like a him merch? Like, girl, okay. from we can do that if the girs want to know how to vote. vote. I can't vote, girl. I, I'm, I girl, want realness. I don't know how to vote. Neither, okay. but I'll be touch, right there. Or, the, okay. Check out my Twitter page. I got my Maybe. my Vogue video oh, from the Pose Ball. Baby served it at the Pose Ball. Girl, that wasn't even a real TV. The legend jumped out. Yes. 
let's be clear. I am a schoolboy. So I just want everybody to know. Let's be that is the category I walk. We went to Moby Fest. Yes. And it was good five minutes of him just fucking it up. First off, it was my first experience just seeing him in this atmosphere. Like I was just like, love you. Bitch, yeah, that's what you do. I, yeah. I supplied the chant and he supplied okay. the and then, moves. And, and then this one was like, "Get it, Misha? Yes, Misha, yes. Misha, Misha." Ah. And then I was, like, I was just taken aback. I was like, well. "Where am I? I?" You know I'm your bitch. You know I'll be bitch. chanting you no all day between these two girls. Girl. I'm like, bitch, I can't. Like when I have a cocktail uh. and a beat is in the background. Oh, bitch, bitch, you get it's much over, right? I no need y'all shade. to invite me out. Next come on, come on, come on out. All, come on out all day. <laughs> Look, these these <laughs> three are come more on, the out bitches. I'm more of like, yeah. let's have a game night inside. <laughs> uh-uh, we just okay. like, uh-uh, bring it to the dance floor. Yeah. Come on out. We all married um, up. Yeah, they um Jelani from my house was actually giving me my life Ooh. when I was voguing. And he was like, bitch, you was fucking cutting a monkey, yeah. honey. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, yes, girl. Uh-huh. Like, I was really feeling it. And, like, to be, no shade, like, Pose was to give that. Like, yeah. the ball, it mm-hmm. was like, girl, the girls was cutting up. That was the first time that I've ever been around like that was the first time like the black gay community and, and the, the white, white gay, gay community, community has been in harmony Ooh, like maybe it was the, amazing. Gr- the white girls was on their p's and q's they were being respectful like yep, very, <laughs> they were getting cocktailed they like very much blending in it's no shade mm-hmm. shout out to they hector in front of company and acting correct right yep. shout Hello. out to hector extravaganza he up. let us hit his blood Ooh, like it was yes it was hector. Hector. the whole the whole bitch, night it was, was a keys. it was a good time yeah like bitch i know we all over the place but when i saw my bitch squat and do the motherfucking little kim oh squat, stop it do not give the girls that. <laughs> i knew that this was family <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, bitch, let me hit this real quick. And I, too, got down and got well, my eagle on. We was eye to eye that on the same it. level. It was but cute. But no, um, my, okay, yes. my, um, my house is um, is amazing. And it gives you more so, like, the kiki, the kiki, um, yeah, the scene. kiki scene. Mm-hmm. Um, and it is a very honest. <laughs> very. I mean, it's, it's like a documentary, yeah. in a sense. So, like, docu-series. docu-series. Yeah. So, like, um. You know, it's it's just very honest. Um, I've never been in the part of the Kiki Ball, but I know the girls from the Kiki Ballroom scene. Girls and know me, yeah. It's honestly like it's a lot. You have more fun mm-hmm. in the Kiki scene than in like the regular ballroom mm-hmm. scene, and I'm glad that they are able to. They they like it's it's divided because like I feel like me like I don't want to be a part of the ballroom scene, but yeah. I love, love to, to vote be out. Yep. So like I would play around in the Kiki scene all day you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying so yeah I, I think it's a great show i also found it interesting that um the first song um on pose was my house Did you i didn't think that, that it, i didn't I think it was intentional i don't know if it was intentional that was a, the, but i felt like that paid homage to the girls homage. a little bit yeah. so it was it i love was, that song yeah. oh we it's love sisterhood. okay oh well, yeah um Bitch, you pointing to me like you ain't oh, the I model. You, you ain't Bubba Walters. Like yeah. Bitch, what the fuck? You what's pointing to me. What's the okay, time? so I guess it's my turn to do what I do best. Mm-hmm. What's up? Bitch, it's jam in the week time, ho. Yeah. <laughs> I'm making all your fucking jams Bring the jams. the motherfucking week. Mm-hmm. Come on, y'all. So, let me see. Who do I pick first? Oh, come on. <laughs> it's Fons. obvious. Fons. Um, So, I really have been jamming out to Dirty Computer. <laughs> Very, very much. What an album. Ooh, an album. Um, I like that as that girl. And I really lo- like that's my top, top. Wait, but what I, song? I, I, I like I that like by Janelle Monae. Uh, yeah, <gasps> so Dirty Computer Janelle Monae's album. Uh. But I Got the Juice with Pharrell has Ooh. been oh getting my, God. my attention. Ooh. My fucking so bitch, which one is your jam of the week? Lately. Which one is, it, which one you is your solid one? one? My jam of the week, will has, it has to be I Got the Juice. Oh, like okay. It's just so funky and funky. And like Pharrell on that beat, yeah, it's just very sweet. She says, like, <laughs> you try to play with my pussy cat, my pussy will my grab you back. Will grab- I That's- said, Janelle, that- who the fuck do you think you are? Because I fuck fucks with it. With the pussy cat, as you should. <laughs> Yeah, so that's Girl. my job. I'm cute. <laughs> oh, that was good. Yeah. Stevie, bitch. What? Um, okay, so it's like the 20th anniversary of Never Say Never. Um, that was the other day. <gasps> my fucking so, album. Album. Oh First of all, can I tell you, I was in my house like, Headphones on full blast. I'm like, Brandy, this was your now, bitch, time. I need bitch. to know That's which song is your jam of the week. Because I'm going yeah. to shade you if it's not the one I like. Okay, so well, it, 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 it's mine. Um, <laughs> so my jam of the week is Happy was one of the oh. songs on there. That is my... F- bitch, I, I remember when I was song. in the gym so fucking hard, bitch, on the fucking treadmill, feeling like, baby, I want my body 
in my spirit to be happy, bitch. Okay. That is my fucking song. <laughs> Even though at the end of the album, Brandy was very emotional, very vocalist, but baby, happy is my jam yes. of the week by Brandy. Yeah, yes. baby. Okay, uh, Aaron, bitch, it's your turn. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I, was, I, was, I was just jamming it happy. happy. <laughs> oh, um, Ow, come on. So y'all know I love a melancholy. Uh, yes. Oh, girl. It's Aaron time. Um, yeah. little, no, but this, this one's normally, more of like a, a alternative. It's you know? normally like So the song is called song. Uh, Ghosts. It's by Paris. Okay. Um, Paris is actually spelled P-V-R-I-S. Okay. Um, it's one of their... It's not one of their newer songs but um i really love it um just take a listen take a listen to the lyrics and uh it, they kind of sound a little like paramore so okay that's actually what got <sighs> me paramore them. went like a different direction um, with them so, music and i adore paramore we so. love yeah paramore. Um, <laughs> yeah so they kind of sound like them lead singer really sounds like Haley, so that's the reason why i got into oh, them on. so but ghost is a fantastic song so listen to that um and yeah yeah Oh, Malik. I'm not going to be extra like these other girls. Oh, bitch, fuck you. <laughs> bitch, I love you, but fuck you. <laughs> um, my favorite, oh, my song of the week or jam of the week is uh, Strobe Lights by Dirty Money. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Wait, wait, bitch, All that's not the real name. It's I Ditty can't Dirty take. Money. Okay. <laughs> Ditty Dirty Money. Don't forget, <laughs> you know Diddy wait. will sue your ass. Diddy oh Dirty People Money. People don't give them their flowers. No, they, they, they deserve everything. That was, that was one of the best albums <laughs> in music, and I don't care what nobody says. I want to hop on the train right now. I was trying to get on the last train. Last Train to Paris is one of the best albums in music. So In the world, yes. So good. And I'm very upset that we got fucked with, just like Electric Rib. But yeah, yeah. So my song, Strobe Lights. Those Girl. Diddy Dirty Money featuring Lil Wayne. Yeah. And, and just no shade. One more thing. Like when he opened it up, he was like, Love is a party. My heart is such a disco yeah. ball. <laughs> yeah. Baby, I'll be on the train like. <laughs> <laughs> Titties bounce there, everything. We oh, know what these little titties. The girls, yeah. the fake imaginary titties. Oh my god. <laughs> It's my turn. Okay, what's your jam in the week? Okay, so mine is not even as like joyful as the rest of you bitches. Oh shit! I actually have the melon, the real sad song for the day. Okay. Um, no, my song, my jam of the week is Four Letter Word, Bye. uh, by Jesse J. Okay. Ooh. Uh, it just came out off of her Rose series EP. It's okay. the obsession part. Okay. Um, so for me, I y'all know mm-hmm. I want kids. Okay. And I want them like yesterday but um (laughs) i've always known for myself that i need to be at a certain place doing certain things before i even Mm. give myself the ability to bring someone in a child wise Mm. because they need a lot um and so in the song she just talks about um she really wants to have a child but she's it's gonna happen to her but like yo right now it's not it's not the perfect time right. um and she says um it's like it won't i don't want my me focusing on my career and me focusing on um at this moment to really make be my last chance of having a child um it is just was like i think about just being gay and just it's a struggle to have kids like it's not an easy road it's not even an easy Maybe. road being straight either but like it's difficult. Mm-hmm. Um, and I always think and lay at night and think, will this ever happen for me? Mm-hmm. I know it's something that I want. No I know that it's something that like, oh, I yearn for it. But will it ever, will I actually be able to have this dream? Is this going to be one of those dreams that are like, it's just, it may not happen. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I just really connected with this song. I think I, I connected it with it more just because I also, my aunt just had her baby. Mm-hmm. Um, and then she was also a, a, a person who she deserved to have a kid. I think more than anyone I knew. Okay. Um, she was the most loving, compassionate human being. Um, I felt like I've ever met. Um, she's taking care of every um, niece, nephew, child that she's ever met. Wow. Um, and so for me, I felt like this woman who wanted kids but never had the right was never the right time um surprised me to say she was having a kid okay. um and just to see her now okay. it was just one of the most breathtaking experiences ever and i'm happy i'm wow. so happy yeah, you know right. i love kids great, yeah um and so yeah that's my gem week i feel like i really brought it down no. so it's can okay I, can i give a bonus the, okay. no <laughs> absolutely not no girl, no, girl. Keep the- she 
We can't now you couldn't, the guest. You, you told the guest you couldn't give yeah, an extra. Right. Now you want to give extras to down. Well, bitch, you can give an extra. I, I, I got an extras, extra. but we ain't okay. got time Look. for that. <laughs> Look, I take my back extra. No. Um, bitch, I'm always extra. No, it's fine. <laughs> um, this, in last minute thoughts, you know, the girls, you know. I'm, I'm feeling vote, my wine. Bitch. Okay. Oh, oh, wait, wait. And there's another bottle. Oh, yeah. We're going to have some <laughs> more wait, wine. There's another bottle, but guess what? Wait. What? There's a motherfucking part two. Okay. Part two. Definitely say that shit for them. Please. And okay. then also, Fonz is going to be back on part two, two. with hello, us. Hello, hello, yeah. hello. Come up? on. We had, you know. You Surprise, know how to, bitch. Okay, yeah. You know how the girls, you got to go, book the girls when you got the girls. You got the girls. And she hold on tight. Look, we got our first motherfucking guest. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you got to turn it you the fuck up, baby. You know we do differently. Yeah. We love him. Okay. We love him. Yeah. Well, we'll yeah. see y'all back next week with Fonz. Yeah. And y'all be good. Take care, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. Bye. See ya. Bye. I 